This week, I'm going to share with you a recipe for a simple steamed snapper. What I love about this dish is that it's chock full of vegetables, it's healthy, it's light, and it is absolutely delicious. Now I'm using carrots and peppers, okra, tomatoes, onions, but you can use a combination that you prefer. Some people like to add potatoes, but I'm just using these today. Now I picked up these beautiful snappers from the farmer's market and I could not wait to cook these guys. They are absolutely perfect. The first step is to clean the fish. And you're gonna do this by placing it into a bowl with lime juice and cool water and just let it sit for about 10 minutes before rinsing and patting it dry. Next, I cut slits into the fish on both sides and then I'm going to season it liberally with all-purpose seasoning. And I'm going to season this on both sides and the inside as well just to make sure it's nice and seasoned and we get that everywhere. And don't forget that the link to this recipe will be below in the description box. It's going to lead you over to my blog giancancook.com where you will find this recipe and many more. Fish is so delicate that it doesn't require a long time to be marinated to soak up all of that flavor. And we're just going to season this, we're going to rub the seasoning on the inside and the outside and then I'm going to stuff the middle with sliced garlic cloves and fresh thyme. I wanted to point out that I didn't add any salt and that's because my all-purpose seasoning has enough salt for the dish. Now that this is all seasoned, I'm going to let it hang out for about 20 to 30 minutes before getting started. And once that's seasoned, we're going to place a pan over high heat and to that I've added oil and a little bit of butter. Once the butter is melted, I'm going to add my vegetables, the carrots, the bell peppers and the onions and just let that saute for a few minutes. And this is going to cook for about 3 to 5 minutes just until they start to get a little brown on the edges. We're not going to overcook it because it will continue to cook. Next, I'm going to add water before adding the fish. And I'm going to nestle those right on top of the vegetables. And I'm just going to place them side by side before adding the remainder of the vegetables. And I'm adding scallion okra that I've washed and I've trimmed the ends and tomatoes that I've cut into wedges. And I'm just going to take these and place it around the fish just on top. This is going to cook and as it cooks, the tomatoes are going to break down a little bit. It's going to add to the sauce. The okra is going to steam and everything is going to come together to form a beautiful dish. Next, I'm adding a wiri wiri pepper for flavor and fresh cracked black pepper. Now that everything is in the pot, I'm going to cover it and let this cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now these fish are pretty large, so that's why I'm going with that cooking time, but you just need to cook it until the flesh is tender and flakes easily with a fork. Okay, so let's check on the fish, and this is what you're looking for. The vegetables are perfectly cooked, they're tender, but they're not mushy, and look at the fish, look at how beautiful that is. I'm a firm believer that good food doesn't have to be complicated, and this is a very simple dish that is absolutely delicious. And I'm just going to finish it off with fresh chopped scallion before serving. And I served this with some breadfruit that I roasted in the oven. And it was absolutely delicious. Just the breadfruit with the broth from the fish, the delicate flavors from the fish. It is absolutely delicious. It's fresh. It's a nice light meal. And we could not be more pleased. We, asked, we enjoyed it. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.